So yeah, once again, good morning, everyone. Wow. Thank you for joining in to the recording call. Okay, so my someone's microphone isn't working. Wow, sadly. I'm so sorry about that. But then I don't know if you can drop on the charts like have you made any progress on the dashboard and um, the other feedback on whether or not to use um, Google Form. Is it okay? I mean, can I? Okay. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me now? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so I'm saying, um, um, okay, so Ms. Omar, can you share like the updates in the chat? Um, your updates on the form and the dashboard. Like we know we talked about the dashboard thingy for our first project and also whether or not to use a Google form, right? On the on the website. So I, I don't know, did you make any research or stuff you want to share? You can just drop in the chat since your mic is on working. Okay, okay. So I think we'll just link it up with Google Form. That's great. Um so any progress on the dashboard. Okay, so um while um Ms. Oma is just dropping a feedback on that, I think I'm just gonna head over to Rhoda. I know I got um I saw a couple of um um messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I forgot to mention. I saw your edit request. I think um sometime this morning, and that was approved. So you have to check it out. It's been approved. Um, okay. So thank you so much for the feedback. Thank you, Masuma. Thank you so much for the amazing work you're doing. Thank you. Putting in the work and time. Thank you for showing up for the meeting. Really, really appreciate KS. Do appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so um Rhoda, yeah, I saw some of your message, right? The conversation, right? You know, going on. Um, with regards to the user research. So do you have any updates for us? Any feedback you want to share? Sorry, um, you kept breaking up, um, so I didn't quite hear everything you said. So I think, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So I think my network is crazy or whatsoever the problem is, I can't seem to tell. Um, so I said I saw, um, I, I got notifications of some of your chats, but I know though that chat was between you and um, Felix, you're going to correct. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to interfere at the time. Well, so I'm asking, do you have um, any feedback you want to share? Um, I know after our last call to you, indicated interest to do some stuff, like with regards to user research on the um, Athos project. So do you have updates, feedback? Just generally anything you want to share. Over to you. Um, okay, so concerning that, yes, I did leave a comment. Um but I've had like some really, really crazy power issues. So I wasn't able to check back. But I was going to like try out um though I don't know if this is um opened for like testing with people but I was going to like check it out with a couple of persons because there were some concerns I raised and I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't just the 
only one. Yeah. And um things like I think one of them was on the filter. Um and then on the use of icons on on the um filter as well. Um like the cancel icon that I saw as opposed to what a lot of us are used to. So I think that was like what my questions were about. But I don't know if um, I got a response because I haven't really checked the Figma file. So I'm going to do that today. Yep. What okay, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead. No, um, no. Okay, beautiful. Um, thank you. Um, I, so I, I think we will just um, well. I believe user research isn't just like um one time thingy, right? So even when the project, yeah, the project is still ongoing. So meaning you can still do your thing, right? You know, just keep on reviewing other part, like what you're doing, testing, you know, different part of the project. Um, so I think there's this is other project that um recently uh was recently pushed live by chaos right and um eventually i think we'll kind of like still work together on that to explore usability and stuff the project is actually um chaos is working on that project in partnership with gitlab right so we we'll still work together to you know ensure usability of key key components of the platform but for now, just keep doing what you're doing on our first project, get people to interact, to get feedback, you know, and um, so for the guys doing the core design, you know, updates can be made on the design, you know, and all that. Um, hi, Nidhi. Good morning. I can see Olola Day. So glad you made it to the call. Yes. So, um, Hi, yeah, Mide, you want to say something? Okay. You want to I say hi to us? Sir, am I, I the one you're calling Mide? Can you hear me? No, 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 no. These are your Mide. Okay. So, yeah, I'm coming to you, don't worry. Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning, Katie. Um, yeah, um, my name is I think this is Katie. your first, first design call this year, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, these are second meetings, though. So yeah. Yes. So um, say hi. Yeah, my name is Andy. I'm I'm, I'm I'm a design contributor here at Chaos, and um, I'm, I'm part of the um, Apple's project. And yeah, uh, I was um, I'm currently the one coordinating the project. I, I was I was away uh, last year, um, so like. Last year, December, I had to go offline because I had like issues to take care of. Also, um, yeah, if so, you guys have any questions? I'm trying to like gather um, information and like I, I've I've realized that we have new people. Um, welcome everyone to chaos and to our first project. So if you guys are really interested or like I've started something and you come you need guidance. Kingsley is always busy, so. I'm I'm kind of free to, to answer your question. You could always reach out to me on, on Slack. I've I've decided to like be really active. I've worked on I've worked on my Slack, so I get notifications now. So um if you guys have any questions on projects to contribute to in um, chaos or um, the, same, the kinds of projects or the kinds of um, groups we have in chaos, you could always um, reach out to me. Uh thank you very much. Thank you, Mide, for looking out for me. So, Kingsley, I was, it's always yeah. busy. <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me. So um, um, I think I'm just going to uh, bring that up again. So Mide is in charge of, like, he's the one overseeing our first project, right? So the, this is open source, right? And um, it's not like a one-person thingy, right? So... Um, Chaos design community doesn't really revolve around me. So even in my absence, chaos will still continue. So uh, one of the things we're still trying to do, right? And um, 
things like thanks to people like Midi and um Joseph, Toria, they're both not here. So um they've been super supportive and you know contributing, not just contributing design wise, but in terms of you know interacting with other designers and just making sure that the um the design um working group continues to become like the most active working group, right? So if they have questions um um about if you have questions um regarding um Afos project or maybe just random stuff and you hit me up I didn't you know like immediately you know you can reach out to uh Midi. So he's been around for you know quite some time and he also has a very good knowledge of um the project and can also point you to where to get resources or assets, you know, if you want to. So thank you for mentioning that Midi. Yep. Um so it's your time to shine, Lola D. Say hi to us and just introduce yourself. I think this is your first call. It's good to have you. Say hi, your name and what you do. Lola D. Daniel. I guess that's uh, Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, good morning, everyone. I am Olola Day. I'm a product designer. Uh, I actually got like access to the Afos projects. Um, I think if I'm correct, Felix or Kinsley. No, I'm not sure. But I got the access, and I was told to, you know, make a responsive design for the filter page, which I already did and is ready. Yeah. So yeah, that's all. Oh, that was fast. I love working with people that are. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> I said that was fast, and I love working with people that are super fast. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm surprised that I know when we had that call um, last week, we had a call last week. I know you couldn't join because of work. And then yeah. we had um, design a design call too. And you still could make it to the call, I remember. And then I think that was when I asked Felix to uh, like get in touch with you. But I'm so happy that. Um, so uh, maybe you can work together with Felix to, you know, check out stuff all of that they just dropped, right? And, um, and just let me know what's up, right? So super cool. Um, I know for... Uh, um, I think much later, maybe one of the stuff you do is you just let us know the pending screens, right? For the pending screens, talking about the mobile and the web, so we know at what point we are and what's left. I think a document better so that it's not just something you share with me. I think everyone can get to know, you know, what's pending. That would also makes it easy to assign tags, right? Um, can you drop an emoji if you can hear me midday? Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here. Okay. I was just waiting for you too. I didn't want to interrupt. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, Felix, 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 old guy, old cold guy. So let me go to, can I call you Amy? Amy. Yeah, you can. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, um, Amy, I think you messaged me on Slack. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, to everyone. What you okay. do? Yeah. Okay. I, I believe you probably haven't met most of the people here. So. Yeah. 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 So. I've been here before, but just twice or so. And my name is Amy Osulobugwe. Means you can just call me Amy for short, E M E. And um, a graphic designer and also a product designer. Yep, that's me. Awesome. You do graphic design. Um, cool. Um, men with different infinity stones. 
Okay, so I, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, hi, Felix. You want to say hi to us? Felix has really been amazing. Uh, it, it, you, I think you owe Felix lunch. He's been standing in for you, period of your absence. Hi, Felix. Are you there? Hi. Um, yeah, I'm here. Um, I've been listening and um, I don't really have much to say, but hi, Odyssey. Yeah, please <laughs> just make sure you get your lunch back from the. Ah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Take care of your lunch. Okay, so thank you, thank you. I think um, Felix is just being a humble guy. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes, I don't. Hello. Yes, I can. Okay, the spreadsheet, right? Because I don't even know the screen. I'm sure. Um, so, um. Yes, it's a spreadsheet. Okay, so thank you, thank you. Um, let me drop this in the chat too. I think this will be. <laughs> oh, man, the. Thought Menon Bridge is closed. I'm not even aware. <laughs> I'm still on the island and I could literally stay here for months. Did I even get any work with that bridge? So, um, so I don't know, what's this thing again? So, okay, so this is um, our social media calendar, right? Um, I, I think I'm sharing this specifically um, to. Amy and um Omana was on our last call. I don't know, sadly he's not here. So um I know on our last call I mentioned that he should create a mood board, I think, which he did. I right? um last year, um why I think as a design uh, working group we should our, our work is really key to what the social media team is doing because we provide designs right and um there have been a couple of posts that have been made for some time and um some of those posts are just made without um designs to accompany so when you understand the role design plays right it saves people time to redeem a whole bunch of stuff and then you can just create, and sometimes with an extra design added to a post, people can be compelled to interact with that post, right? Rather than you just post a block of uh, content stuff. So, and um, so far, based of the statistics and um, the numbers and all that on X, we've really been getting some very good impression and all that. And our social media channel has really been that channel that has really helped a lot of persons get to educate people not just about chaos but open source in in general so um so yeah we have um you see that some of the dates are far gone and didn't really get to do those things so what i want you to do in me is um so you go through like these designs you go to the stuff you know um Currently, I'm supposed to have a call with another contributor who started working on a brand style guide for Chaos Africa. So I'm supposed to have a call with him tomorrow by noon. Um, we're still trying to work on um, a more structured uh, visual brand style guide for Chaos Africa. So uh, that will you know, also help. But for now, I feel like um, you can just explore play around stuff, see what you can come up with and share with me, right? Um, I believe you have access. I think I've given you access to uh, the, um, this thing, our workspace, this badging, uh, this thing. I think we should have some space here. Yeah, let me check. Um, check this. Okay, I think this mood board for... Um, who knows then? Drop this thing. Mm. So there's still a whole lot of work here, hasn't been done yet, you know. But just forget about this one. So, like I said, this is already you know in progress and it's taken care of. 
So hopefully, uh, because this year, um, one of the things, you know, we're really looking at, first of all, we're going to be pushing out the Air Force project. We have the, the, the chaos um, project and events badging uh, this thing and in partnership with GitLab, another amazing project. And um, um, besides the product design, I'm really looking at, so if you also have friends that, are, and this kind of like applies to everyone, if you have friends that are maybe anyone you know who is an illustrator and also looking for open source projects to contribute to, you know, chaos would just be that perfect project because um, we tend to, you know, explore, explore, do a lot around, um, you know, visuals, right? And seeing how there's so much we can achieve, right? So much we can achieve, you know, and these people just bring in their skills, Yeah. So there's so much we can do. Um, there are other projects in chaos, right? But then we can only, you know, talk about them if we have more hands. But for now, our first project is what we're working on and all that. So um Amy, I want you to I think I'm just looking for uh, that reminds me. <laughs> this one just crossed my mind. So I think this is where you can start. Um tomorrow is first Amy. So I don't know if you have time, right? Um, this is some exploration some guys were doing. I think within me, they do some design exploration for new months and stuff. So, um, I don't know if you have time, uh, I don't know if you have some time to spare. I mean, you might want to look into, I think this, this was uh, in February. Um, I remember that I worked on this last year, yeah. So I don't know if you can work on something for Happy New Month, right? You know, February, right? So you can make one design, right? I think we can use that for both Chaos Africa and Chaos Global. You know, everything you need, I think all the assets you need, you find them here. Please don't limit yourself to what you have. I think most of these explorations were done by, I think, Niti, right? So, no, I, sorry. Oh. Can you add me to the file? I, um, can you request for this thing? Or you drop your link, your email. Maybe I'll just add it on the floor. I should be taking a lot of people out of this file. Like you see all the designers we have on this file. I don't even know them. Most of them just requested join and then like or something. So if you have people, you know, because a lot of persons um just feel oh because I'm a, an illustrator, I do motion graphics and and maybe I'm a 3D person and um yeah I'm coming with I'm a 3D person and then um there's no place for me in open source. But yeah, you know, we've curated, you know, different tasks and stuff that you can apply all these skills, right? So, um, Midi, you want to say something? Go ahead, please. Yeah, I want to say um, those two new monster variations, I I designed them for not, not having a graphic design background. I, I kind of like made everything the same. Well, um, I think... So the correction you made where I, I I could have like changed them, have different seasons, like like show the season for, for each month. Instead so of just making everything look the same. So I just want to, I just want to like maybe chip in if if anybody wanted to like, take that, they could maybe go with that idea. Because it's it's really a nice idea. I was just like creating I don't want to like create one template just because just in case like um, Xana was not there, and maybe someone like um Oluchi who, who makes the post just wants to like post for that month. So that's why I, that was the idea I was doing, which just to make everything seamless and um, the same rather. Yeah, thank you so much, Midi, for bringing that up. You know, I think it's kind of like really important because um um like Midi just mentioned, you know. Uh, what he did was just general exploration, right? Um, but then again, 
you know, what will really make you impactful on the project is, for example, if you're doing a visual design like that, you go all the way out to, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of like adding this to what Midi said, right? So you go all the way out to making explorations, you know, Amy, so when you're working on it, you know, you just try out stuff. How can you connect what you're working on with open source and February as a month, right? Okay, so if someone looks at the design, for example, what you have, I'm just going to share this as an example. So, um, you know, I did already. So I don't have all the designs here, but then, you know, so like, so the stuff, the binary, just code is open source, right? And then you have this. So it doesn't mean you have to duplicate this, but then again, it's just an idea, right? So, um, I really want us to create something that, um, because with time, you know, chaos, which is really focused on open source health and all that, uh, we really want to build models, right, where other open source communities can emulate, right, and then stores that can basically help optimize other design communities, right, or like sub working group in different open source communities and stuff. So um, that I really want us to put in our best in just making sure that the right stuff is done. Hi, Victory Brown. Hmm. My amiable boss just joined the call. Hi. Don't mind me, I'm just listening. <laughs> hmm. Are you serious? Thank you for joining in. Do you want to share something with us? Or oh, introduce yourself. A lot of us were meeting you for the first time. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Victory Brown, and I am a open source designer. I, I, I'm joining for now as an observer, right? Because, like, I have certain things that I want to get in this year. And, um, yeah, I just, like, want to be part of a community. Well, not like I'm not part of a community already, but, like, just be part of Chaos and see what's going on and how I can help based on my design and open source experience and just like learn a few things from Kingsley and also like contribute back to the community with the ones that I know. So yeah, that's Man. a bit about me. <laughs> so I'm just going to say this. I'm not trying to be modest, but I, I'm not sure there's anything you will learn from me. <laughs> I'm not sure there's anything you will learn from me. <laughs> Oh, no, but I'm trying to like, okay, let me just say from the one I know and the one that you currently know, I feel like when it comes to chaos, there's a lot I don't know. And I want to start contributing. Well, not contribute to chaos. But yeah, like I want to hang around. This year, one of the things that I want to do personally is yeah. um merge like my UX and design understanding with data, especially like with the data community, data science and all yeah. that. Yeah. So it um I, I don't want to work with a product team. Again, like I want to work with data teams. And I think Chaos is one of those communities that work a lot with data metrics and all that. And that's part of the things that I want to do this year. So just looking for somewhere where I can actually test the things that I know with a community and having somewhere like Kingsley. And I can see Rhoda here as well. Uh, sorry, these are the people that I know. <laughs> so um, yeah, just like exchange ideas and just see what we can do for each other in some way. So yeah, that's why I'm here. Don't mind Kingsley, yeah. that's to teach me. <laughs> Okay, this is really cool. Um, do you know, um, I, I was just about mentioning that Rhoda was just doing, well, well, I wouldn't be surprised that you know Rhoda, you know everybody in this space. But then again, I think um, because of what you just said, right, um, I remembered, um, was it last year, or maybe last year, or a year before last? <laughs> I can't really recall specifically. I'm getting older. So um Ruth actually mentioned that um mentioned this project, pop up project, and um still because everything we're doing in chaos one way or the other is tied to metrics, analyzing data, the project budgeting stuff, events budgeting, or go project and all that. So from the brief I got from Ruth then about Ovo is that it's a project that allows open source administrators and maintainers to, you know, track you know, data of uh, contributors on GitHub and, and all. That was the brief. Maybe I may be wrong, you know, I could really. But then we just had a whole lot going on and um, I didn't really push so much on that project. So 
stuff. So actually a lot of projects like this going on. And um, I, I think um, what I will just say is that, you know, coming in, um, like, oh, you just need maybe, I think all the knowledge you need about chaos to an extent, so like have it. But where I feel like um, you can now bring in your wealth of experience, right, in optimizing some of these projects. Since you offer to do more around research and data, for example, we have projects that are ongoing, you know, so if you kind of like love to team up with Roda in terms of the user research part of things and all that, for example, the AFOS project is just because of the spotlight and open source project in Africa, you know, and all that. So, um, and the design has been ongoing. And um, I know we still stuck around, you know, doing what Roda has been trying to do is, you know, you know, test with people, you know, get feedback, optimize it and all that. But I, I believe when you stick around, right, maybe you can still have a chat of this call and all that, then there's really a whole lot we can do, right? And I believe there's actually a lot you can also offer. So thank you so much for joining in today as an observer. <laughs> okay, so... um Having me, thank you. And yeah, I see <laughs> some, I know Mia, Maya. <laughs> So I think I know uh -huh. now. Oh, Maya. Yeah, Maya. Maya says she doesn't know me. Well, I I know we met at um, Chaos Hangout. Maybe it's a different Maya I met. I don't know. <laughs> I will know that deep until we get to meet again. So, um, um, although that day, so you said you're done with, um, this thing, all right? Um, so midday, I think uh, what we're gonna do more like the action point, right? Is that you have to, you need to document the stuff, these screens we are done with, right? And then let's know what's what left. Then I'm gonna share that with um Olola Day, right? And um Ms. Omar has is working on the admin part already, so you don't have to assign that. So Ms. Omar is working on that already. So Rhoda is still doing some work the research part too. And Amy has stuff to do on um the spreadsheet I just shared, you know, the social research stuff. Um so all that day, if you don't get feedback from me day by tomorrow, you have to message him or just send me a message. So so Felix, I don't know, is there anything going on? Is there anything you want to share or you you have any pending stuff? Um, sorry, I'd like to say something. Go ahead. Okay, so um, from what I think I understand from what Rhoda and Victor Brown said, I think from Rhoda um, and I, I can I think I get that she wants to like carry out some researches, and I would love to join as well. Just I don't really need to do like the big thing if you don't have if you want to like do I just want to you know, contribute and like do a little, if you have like little, little things that you need help with, I am available for that. Yeah. So that's what I want to say. Beautiful. I, I think Rosa, you're winning more souls here yeah, to yourself. So <laughs> um, that's really cool. And um, so if you're a product designer and you have other skills, it mustn't be, you know, design. Funny things, most times, sometimes I just get to do some work <laughs> Visual design work and actual product design here in chaos. And of course, I do a whole lot around design operations here. So not really design. So um just see yourself on design and stuff. And I, I feel that way you'll be um a lot more impactful in open source. Like maybe in six months you'll be making much more impact than you can imagine. I feel a lot of designers which have onboarded on chaos just join the community. And then they are looking for designs, right, to work on. And then there's no flyer to design or there's no page to design. And if you like, man, just stick around for some days and then nothing. Right? Because you're always looking for pixels to push around. But when you look at the project as a designer, there are other skills you have that are just beyond the design, right? And these are some of the soft skills that, you know, really stand the test of time in communities, right? So... Yeah, sure. Yeah, so Victor Brown just confirms that. And then she's been contributing for years, right? So, so open source, if you're just waiting to design in open source, then I feel like you really wouldn't really make much impact because 
sometimes you just the design tasks will always be assigned to you. But I think the beauty of open source is just going beyond being assigned, stuff that are being assigned to you and being able to discover, you know, stuff yourself and make those invaluable for you. Well, of course, there's always a starting point. So we all started looking out for fire stuff. So I personally started out designing Sita Space Fire. That was what I saw as a contribution. And so um, I I don't know if there's any other person that wants to make a comment, feedback, or anything. So let's see. I have another comment. So let's keep on. Sorry. Um, sorry. Yeah. Um, just to confirm what you said, you want me to connect with Orlando D. Wright and catch up with Felix? Um, I, I feel you should work on a document, right? Um, okay. The documents, the stuff we like, the designs, the Air Force project, the designs, the screens that have been concluded, the ones maybe you can like a table or stuff. Let's know the one that it's ongoing, right? The one that has been completed, and um, the ones on that review, right? So you can do that and share the documents with me. Something we can also share on the channel, so anybody can you know you know look into that and then. Maybe probably I would have said just you know add it to the issues on GitHub, but the the challenge with that is that a lot of persons that indicate interest to work on the project on GitHub are non community members, and not that not really that's not that that's the problem. But the thing is, some of these guys now don't really know much about the project, so you have to spend time trying to onboard them. <laughs> that's like a different thing. So since we have people in house already that you know are available to work on it, there's no need taking into GitHub. So we just work on the documents, you know, you know, indicate all these things, and then you share it with me. Um, so I think um, from there you know maybe the tasks you know we have left, and maybe you can assign one from there to Oladi, since you're in charge of our first project. All right. Um, I noticed there there are some Figma like on on Figma file rather there are some pages that are actually not named. So like if you I just this is just a general statement. If you like create um, a page, if you it's best to, like you could name it after um or you could name it the name you could give it the name of the project and then put your name beside. So I'll know that okay um this individual is working on this page or this individual was assigned to this task. Just makes it easier. Did anyone hear me? Yeah, I heard you. I oh, okay. Know. Yeah, okay. okay. So I, I think um just okay. to add to that too, um emphasis on also creating components, right? A lot of the labs work on a part of that project. So if you're working on any project, please, you just have to start out with creating components. It just makes it easy for any other designer to jump on the design. So don't just create stuff, right? So even if you need help with that, no problem. So for the Air Force project, we have a style guide already, but then everything wasn't created. Like maybe you need some buttons or some icons, start, you know, whatever you need. Please just first of all create it as a component and then name it, you know, and all that. Then I feel like open source just makes us better designers. So I think that's it from me. Any other person? And then we are. Um, Amy, I don't know, did you get everything I shared so that maybe I'll be expecting maybe a message from you? Amy. Um, I'll go through and see on Figma. Let me quickly check. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Someone else saying something. Okay. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining in. Right. Um. I really look forward to a time where we'll probably spend more time, maybe reviewing, um, maybe design and reviewing. Like for example, Ruda talked about the research. Maybe looking at some of the feedback she's gotten and how we can use that to improve some of the project, analyzing, you know, those data and all that, and um, do less of talking, like general talking. And so 
So we are designers, you know, we are creative problem solvers, right? Not just designers. Um, so we don't have um, a document at the moment on research, but then um, um, I, will, I, will, I will confirm that, but there's no has probably just the idea so that we know what it is. Like if Rhoda has put any thoughts down on paper, something. Yeah, Rhoda, I don't know if you've created something because of course I know yeah, if you're conducting research, you also have to start with your kind of like your research plan, survey plan and stuff, you know, research questions and stuff. So if you prepared anything of such, right? So maybe you can share it with uh, Victory, right? And um yeah, so I was just like mainly going through the um the design file as of when last I was there, I was asking the question of if most of the projects are live or we still have like some pending ones, like the ones we are still working on, right? Because so for the AFOS projects, I'm seeing um a different page by Felix. I'm seeing very different implementation. There's a dashboard. So most of the designs are like scattered over the file. And I don't like, you can't really tell if this is where it starts or where it continues. So I was trying to make sense of okay. that okay. first. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um. I think that also sort of like bring us back to the old thing with naming files when you're working. Um, currently, I know the only screens, you know, um, I know if you joined the last call, or I've mentioned this before, that uh, our first project is just part of a uh, um, GitHub or campaign for uh, this thing. GitHub co-pilot for social good. They, they, there was this campaign GitHub did, you know, um on the impact of uh yeah github copilot if i can recall so i know that uh, our first project was one of the projects right one of the ideas you know we worked on and then um of course it was a time box project right so i think it was just a period of three months and what we could pulled off within the time we had was just the landing page so that's how you can see the landing page here for web and uh, mobile, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, after the project, right, um, of course, we did deem it fit, right, to sustain the project, more like, you know, work on other pages. Um, for example, now, since this project is just all about spotlighting open source project in Africa, right, so... Um, as a user interacting with the platform, not just that I just want to see project, I also want to know maybe what AFOS project is, AFOS is all about. Here is the specific page that takes you to the different projects where you can now filter projects by category and then maybe community and stuff. These were just ideas, right? And then um, I can submit a project, right? As a user visiting the platform, I can submit a project so I think that's the idea Mesoma submitted because of we are also trying to work on something sustainable, um, creating you know um, a database will take a whole lot, right? So, um, we are taking advantage of Google Form. So when you click on submit project, um, it will be taking you to the Google Form and all that, so you fill the form and all. So um, some of the stores we have here not really set on stone the basically ideas you know you know so um we have a period i know when we started the whole stuff i know i did work on a period but i'm going to pull it off like i'll, I'll share that period again um, i think you should check the slack channel I, I i shared that already so it may not really be super comprehensive but then we have a period of the guide in this. So I think you can also make reference to that and don't like also add uh, your ideas and people. So every other um, page, right? Um, I, I also mentioned that, you know, like you should name, people should name this just like they said. So every other page is now, it's kind of like you can add just explorations people are making ongoing. I think it's not complete, right? 
I honestly don't even know what to this term. <laughs> so, um, so once any of this page writes, once anyone is done with the design, the design is supposed to be, and it's confirmed, it's supposed to be moved to um, the stock implementation page. Now the page, uh, project page, I thought that page you might want to look at is project page because I, I think I also had time to review this. This was worked on by Felix and um, Olola Day also mentioned that she worked on um, uh, this thing. So the two pages now, and I think we have to look at this photo. Did she add a border to this? I'm not sure we have a border. And there's a footer component for mobile. Felix, is there no footer components for mobile? This looks different from what we have already. There is, there is a component from your own design. That's what I um, use I will, now. I will try see, to check, check where there is. Check where your array is on the left hand side. You can see that it's the footer. Click on it, it takes you to the main component now. This is what okay, I Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Most of the components are already built in. So I just had to move the components to the right places. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think the problem is from the screen size. That is why the border is showing. This the mobile screen size for, for the main company, uh, the main company is different from what's she oh, this. that's the thing. Um, the breakpoints would have been defined, but then again, like I wasn't the one that worked on the the initial mobile footer. There was a guy that worked on it. So, yeah. So these are some stuff you we all just have to be conscious of because you're doing like it's not a personal project; it's open source. So. You just bear in mind that tomorrow, maybe your job or something, just get you busy and you won't have time. So we just have to work on something that we can jump on without the thing. So if you're working on stuff, you also have to. Some persons will not probably even give time to looking at this thing. So documentation is actually very important. So you can leverage, you know, like document your design stuff, right? Document it and add the document to you know, Slack. Right, we have um, um, that PRD could also be a very good point to start. I'm going to share that PRD again so you can add this thing. But some of these stuffs, for example, these components we have here right now. Um, we can have some documentation on the on these different components, where to use it, and uh, let me go head over to. I really don't know what. These buzzing projects. Um, let me just share what I'm trying to share. Those are words that worked on project buzzing. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. So, oh, uh, we have. Lamy, Lamy was Lamy worked on this, but well, of course it was still something ongoing. Now this is something very comprehensive, right? So the spacing you're using for your design, because um, this is the only way we can have an efficient like. Um, oh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. Thank you. So this is the only way we can have something like effective, right? So if you're working on, if you if you have uh, uh, this thing, a component you've created, right? You can just add some some text. You see the way this person, um, let me just did some very great job here, and I really do love it, right? So. Um, you take out that extra time to sort of like define. Is the one on this call? I'm seeing him on Figma. I don't even know if I was sharing the, the right screen, but then um, let me just drop the link here so you check out what you see some of the. Not like that perfect stuff, but then again, it's a good place to start, you know, in defining uh, your 
this thing, components and all that. So that any other designer that comes on board and you know exactly what it's your response. So I think um that will be all. Um is there any other concern, any other stuff, right? So Rhoda, I don't think I answered your question. Or oh, I addressed um... Yeah, so I'm going to go over the PRG and then from what I can see, the landing page has already been implemented, right? And yeah, yeah. we're just like working on other parts of the website, project page, community, and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so any other um, comments, any other concern, so we can just wrap it up. Okay, so in the absence of um, any, I think um, that will be all. Thank you so much for... Um, thank you so much for joining in and um, 